Our team coverage moves now to CBS 4's Donna Rapato. She is in the control room with more on one survivor's powerful message. Donna. Yeah, Rick, a little more on this mom that we heard so much about immediately after the Dallas massacre, how she jumped on her son to protect him while she had just been shot. Well, days later and choking back tears, she tells us how everything went down, officers saving them despite the rapid gunfire. I wanted to make sure that they were all in front of me. The woman shot in Dallas while protecting her sons during a peaceful protest is now out of the hospital. Hundreds of rounds. Just, I had never heard anything like that before. Shatania Taylor describes the sudden chaos in downtown Dallas Thursday when she was shot in the calf as a gunman ambushed police. Taylor tackled her 15-year-old son as her other three boys ran away. I felt the bullet. I don't know if it bounced off the ground or what, but I felt it when it hit me in the back of my leg. And um, my son, Andrew, had turned around to grab me. Because he didn't, I guess he turned around to see where I was and he went to grab me, but I had already been shot, so I grabbed, tackled him. Fighting tears, Taylor recalls seeing one officer shot right in front of her, then another. I saw him go down. I saw him when he got hit and he slumped over. And as he was slumping over, he said he has a good run. I don't think he made it. I don't think he made it. Saw another officer get shot. <laughs> Right there in front of me again, that was two. Other officers watched over Taylor and her son as gunshots continued. During a pause in the gunfire, she says officers got them both to a police cruiser and to the hospital where Taylor underwent surgery. I was in that room, I saw an officer tell another officer that one officer didn't make it. And it was like, I'm celebrating, I'm celebrating my kids. And before leaving that microphone, Miss Taylor made sure to tell everyone she wants to thank the officers who were there for her and her son, those who watched over them. We're live in the control room. Donna Rapato, CBS 4 News.